it's Nicole the Math Lady. Today we're talking about adding integers on the number line. Now, it's been a while since we talked about integers, so you might have forgotten. So let's refresh our memories on what we mean by integers. Remember that integers are the tick marks on the number line. So, zero is an integer. All of the positive whole numbers, meaning anything to the right of zero, that's a whole number. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, yep. Those are integers, and also their opposites, which are the negative numbers, negative one, negative two, negative three, those are integers as well. What about fractions and decimals, the numbers in between the number lines? Are those integers? Nope, they're not. It's just the tick marks on the number line. Okay, now let's talk about a few concepts related to our number line. You've been introduced to positive numbers, negative numbers, right? We know that if we had a number over here, we would call this a positive 3. And if we went over here to its negative, we would call this negative 3. But we have something in math called absolute value. An absolute value, let's write it down, is the value of a number without its sign. What do I mean? Well, I told you that, you know, 3, well, I didn't tell you, let me tell you now, 3 is three spaces from zero, right? It's one, two, three. So we traveled three spaces from zero to get through th to three. So that distance was three. What about negative three? Well, even though it's negative, we still traveled three spaces to get there. That's what the absolute value is telling us. It's telling us what is the value of the distance that we traveled from that zero. And here's how we write it. We write it a particular way. So we have the absolute value of a number. We write it like that, these two lines on the side of the number. So the absolute value of a positive 3 would be 3. It's the value of the number without its sign. What if we had a negative 3? The value of a negative 3, again, it's the value without its sign, without its direction, it's still 3. So it actually goes to show you that any number, the absolute value of that number, is going to be a positive number. Even though we're saying it's without its sign, we, you know, we usually refer to a number without a sign as a positive number. So it'll just be stripped of its sign, and it means this is a 3, and this is also a 3. Let's try a few examples with absolute value to make sure you get it. So here we have the absolute value of a negative 4 plus the absolute value of a positive 2. Let's start with the negative 4. So remember, the absolute value strips the, it of its sign. So we're going to take that negative 4. Absolute value of negative 4 is just 4. Plus the absolute value of a positive 2 is 2. Now we add. 4 plus 2 is 6. Let's take this one. Absolute value of 3 minus 2. So how it works is you do the operation inside. 3 minus 2 is 1, right? So I'm going to rewrite it. It's the absolute value of 1, which is 1 when you get rid of the absolute value signs. Let's try the one on the bottom. Absolute value of 2 minus 3. Let's do the inside first. Absolute value of 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So it's the absolute value of negative 1, strip it of its sign, it's just going to be a 1. So notice that these two, the absolute value, are exactly the same. Let's see how we can use the number line to think through how we add positive and negative numbers. Take a look at this example. Here we have 2 plus a negative 4. Now I wrote just 2, but I could just as easily write a positive 2, right? We usually write a number that doesn't have a sign. We assume that it's positive. So positive 2 plus a negative 4. So I want to show you how we do this on the number line. <coughs> so first we go over to a positive 2. And let's go ahead and put that in. How we got to positive 2 is we went up and we moved over two spaces. Okay, that's the first part. Second part, plus a negative 4. So the negative tells us which direction are we going in next. We are going to the left because the number is negative. So let's move four spaces to the left. I'm going to come back up here and we're going to go four spaces. One, two, three, four. And that brings me down right at a negative 2. 
So plus 2 plus negative 4 equals a negative 2. Take a look at this example. Negative 3 plus a positive 5 plus a negative 2. Let's go ahead and show it the movement on the number line. So let's start with a negative 3. Now remember, we always begin at the origin, which is 0. And we're going negative 3, so we're going to the left three spaces. Let's do it. So let's go 1, 2, 3. And that brings me to my negative 3. What's next? We're going to move positive 5 spaces. So we're going to the right because the number is positive. Let's move 5 spaces to the right. I'm going to come up here so you can see it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That brings us to a positive 2, but we're not done yet. We're going to add a negative 2. So where are we going? We're going back to the left two spaces. So I'm going to go up and go back to the left. 1, 2. And look where that left me, right at 0. So negative 3 plus a positive 5 plus a negative 2 equals 0. And that's it. Your practice problems today will all be about showing me how you move on the number line. We're preparing to actually do addition, subtraction with uh, these integers without actually using the number line. But let's just take baby steps. Let's use the number line first. Okay, that's it for me today. I hope you're having a great one. Talk to you soon. Bye.